What is going on guys? So today we are working on that Malibu engine. So for starters, I think I showed you guys this before. The Malibu engine, the block is good. Um, valves contacted the pistons but didn't do any damage. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that with some thousand gray sandpaper, get these little edges down on the valve, uh, on the slits in the pistons that the valves go into. Um, so, what I got going on is I have uh, all bent intake valves, all the exhaust valves weren't bent, so those aren't getting replaced, but I have every single new exhaust valve, or intake valve, sitting over there in that box. I have a new cam too, uh, for the intake side, uh, and I have all new roller rockers from a engine that was in the junkyard, and these are way better condition than the ones that I had that I pulled out of there, because the ones that I pulled out of there got snapped. You can see fractures right there. And then two pieces broke off. So these are the good ones that I got out of the junkyard. Um, and there's the cam I got out of the junkyard sitting in the box over there. So what we're going to do now, I have all the gaskets, all the timing stuff, brand new. Uh, brand new Permatex gasket sealer. Um, so, I have the tripod, the computer for the torque specs, torque wrenches, everything. So we're good to go. Alright, this is the head that I've already built, because it uh, it's a V6, has two heads, dual overhead cam, it's got the uh, VVT motor, variable valve timing, that's what these here do, there's different spots, changes, varies the uh, cam timing um, for optimal performance on a high RPM. So, what we're doing now is, we're going to do this same thing to this other head that I have over there, we're putting a new cam in it, because the cam caps broke whenever the uh, the valves contacted the pistons every intake valve bent but none of the exhaust and I already tested this head it's ready to go um, I oiled everything up but this is what we're basically doing in this video we're building another head just like this for well the right head for this engine so let me show you what the other side looks like there's the new valves I lapped them in and made sure they sealed poured gas in it, made sure they sealed really good, and this head's ready for assembly. Uh, I cleaned the head gasket material off the best that I could. I'm going to go over that with a thousand grit again and then do the final assembly on that. So, Alright guys, so what we're looking at here is all the new parts. Um, this is just a Permatex gasket maker. Um, new head bolts right here. Um, this is all the cam timing stuff. There, all the pulleys, tensioners, head gasket set. This is a full gasket set for the whole engine, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the other thing is the valves over there, the cams, and the cam caps that are getting replaced. So this is the uh, the head here, the one that has the bent valves. This is the intake side that we're replacing, and uh, as you can see here, the cam is bent. You can't even rotate this one, but the exhaust side, you can rotate freely. So this cam is bent, and that's why it's being replaced because it put a lot of strain and pressure whenever the valves, the roller rockers put stress on the cams, lifted the cam up and warped the cam. So that's why that's getting replaced with all new caps and new cam. So let's get into it. All right, so what we got going on here is exhaust side rotates freely with the roller rockers installed. The intake side doesn't have the roller rockers because whenever it jammed up, the, all the roller rockers fell out and fell in the middle of the head. This does not rotate. There's no way to rotate that one, but this is what it's supposed to be, nice and free. So that tells me that this cam here is warped, so we got to do is pull this cam out now. So I'm going to start by doing that now. We got all the cam cap bolts loose, so now we're just going to pull them all off. We're going to set them down on the towel in the same order that we took them off so we remember how to put them back. Alright, so I'm going to pull this old cam out, put it on the side. And I'm going to grab the new cam, clean it off, and then set it in there and bring the caps. Okay, so now I got all the bolts tightened down hand tight, 
cam rotates smoothly, unlike that other one. Has the normal in and out play, and it rotates about as smooth as the exhaust side. So now what we're going to do is, got the torque wrench, 89 inch pounds, is what the torque spec is for these bolts. So what you're going to do is start in the center, and start working to 89 pounds. If I can a little bit, it should still be able to rotate Yeah, there it is. So this cam and these caps off the other motor work perfectly fine. The way that these cam caps work is the holes are drilled a little bit bigger and uh, what you want to do is you want to hand tighten them and then grab a wrench, rotate the cam a couple of times so these can self-center themselves. And then after that, that's when you torque it. So that's basically what I did here. So next step is pull this cam out again and start to pull the valve springs off and replace, start lapping the valves and then put the springs back in, lobes back on. We'll go ahead and do that now. All right, all the cam caps are off. We're gonna pull this cam back out now that we know that it works good. Put it back down over here. And I'm gonna start pulling these valves out one by one. All right, I'm gonna do this process off camera, but uh, here's a valve spring compressor. What you do is you tighten this, it pushes that down, tightens these clamp around the spring. But it doesn't work on these little tiny Chevy valves. So I made this tool so I can be able to, uh, all it is is a piece of conduit with a slit cut in it. Where I can pull the retainers out once I compress the valves. So it goes around there like that. Somehow, anyways I'm going to do that off camera, I don't want to bore you guys. I'm going to pull all six valves out. Uh, all, all the springs and retainers off the valves. I'm going to line them up on the towel so I know what order they go in. Uh, and then we're going to put new valves in it. And then we'll lap them. Alright guys, so pulling these, um, these uh, valve springs out is a pain in the ass. This tool, it's not skinny enough to fit in there. So uh, for the other head, I made this and pulled all the, the valves out these valve springs out and I use that compressor tool the compression spring compression tool to uh, reinstall the springs they work for that but they will not uh, they're not skinny enough to fit in here so I'm gonna show you guys this tool that I made here it's actually screwed to the bench it's a uh, conduit cut and then it still has that little slot here where I'm gonna put a magnet should be able to see that so what I'm gonna do now is compress this whole thing and the magnet is gonna hopefully pull the retainers out nope that didn't work that time it takes a couple of tries generally to get that out there's one now we just gotta get the other one out There it is. So the magnet grabs the uh, retainers and the spring pops right off. Just like that. So at this point, <laughs> both bolts on the tool are like warped. They're bent pretty bad. But uh, I got all the valves out and that's all I needed it for so we're good to go there. So there's all the springs that I pulled off the retainers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the head over and pull out all the valves. Alright, so moving on now. I'm going to flip the head over. And the head bolt come out. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to start pulling every valve out, all the bent ones. Stubborn here. These last three don't want to come out.
So now we put the new ones in. All right, here's the new valves. So now what I'm going to do is, lapping tool, and there's a compound. I'm going to show you guys how to do one, and I'm going to do the rest of them off camera. So there's two, there's a coarse and there's a fine. First you want to hit it with the coarse one, and then go to fine. Basically what you're trying to do is create this lip, this is the sealing surface between the valve on the head. The valve in the head needs to seal perfectly. So what you're doing is grinding a slit in the valve to make it seal. There's a difference. There's a ring around the valve right here where it's shiny, shiny, and then dull. This one's shiny all the way around. This lip right here. This one's shiny and dull. The dull spot is what we just sanded and basically matched up to the uh, head so it seals correctly. Alright guys, so now I have all the valve springs in. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean the head really good. We're going to put the cam back in and retorque that. I'm going to do that off camera again. It's, just, it's time consuming. I don't want to waste people's time. All right, so now this head is done. So let's do a recap. New camshafts, three new caps from a different head that we got out of the junkyard, all new roller rockers on the intake side and new valves on the intake side. So the intake side's pretty much been refurbished from square one. The exhaust side was just fine, so we left that alone. And now I'm going to do a gas test. I'm going to pour some gas on top of these and make sure they're not leaking. And uh, we should be good for final assembly. I also cleaned the gasket off of this. I'm going to go over it with some thousand grit one more time for pre-assembly. I'm going to brake clean the inside outside of the head uh, to get rid of the uh, dirt that's on it. And then we'll be good for final assembly.